Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today is going to be another video in which I am explaining how to understand and read uh, results of the gel electrophoresis and I highly recommend uh, to watch my previous videos so uh, you would be able to solve this problem without my help. And here is the problem. The child or children of individuals J and K is or are represented on this gel. Which individuals are they? So we have two individuals. Uh, individual uh, J. This is genotype of the individual J. And here is the genotype of individual K. So both of them has alleles. Uh, two alleles of the different size and two alleles of the same size. But all the alleles that you can see on this uh, picture are alleles of the same locus. For identification of people in forensic science, uh, scientists choose such loci in human genome where we have a variable number of tandem repeats. So uh, you may have two alleles of the different size like uh, in this example or this example or well, some people may have uh, alleles of the same size so we see it as one band those this one band stand for the two alleles of the same size and this is another example and this is another example this video is going to be very short because uh, example is very simple so I want to give you some extra information how to find in uh, which direction uh, DNA is moving. You probably already know it from my previous videos. So because we have here 2000 uh, bases in a ladder and here we have 500 bases, it is obvious that uh, DNA is moving from this side to this side and the lightest DNA moves uh, faster. So when we stop uh, running a gel we would see such pattern like this, which we call ladder of the DNA of the known size. So now we can use it as reference in order to find the sizes of different alleles, which sizes we don't know, but in what direction. So we know uh, that uh, DNA moving from this side to this side. But can you tell uh, where we apply positive charge or negative charge? Should we apply positive charge here and negative here or vice versa? And this picture would help me to explain you what's going on here. As you see, this is a single stranded DNA and on this uh, DNA we see that uh, in this uh, phosphate groups we see single oxygen that has negative charge. So DNA, whether it is single-stranded or double-stranded DNA, whether it is single-stranded or double-stranded RNA, would be on overall uh, negatively charged. So now we can answer our question that uh, positive charge have to be here and negative charge have to be here. We load our samples on this side and because DNA is negatively charged it would move to positive charge. So now you know how to uh, solve such problem and now we can return to our uh, picture. Because none of the other genotypes has these alleles. We can exclude them from our search and now it would be much much more easier. So we have only two alleles. This is going to be one allele and this is going to be second allele. As you see they traveled uh, different distances so uh, these two alleles are of different size. And now let's uh, also highlight uh, the same size alleles on our uh, picture. So this is going to be also the same size and the same size here, the same size here and the same size here. 
Also, we have uh, the same size as uh, individual K, this allele. Uh, here we also have another individual that has the same size, and this individual, this, and this. And now you can easily tell that this person has both alleles, uh, one from parent J and another allele from the parent K. As you see, it is very easy to solve when you know which steps to take. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.